Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 2 of How to Survive DayZ 0.63 and Beyond. Today we're taking a look at Infected, stealth mechanics regarding Infected, as well as some melee when in combat with Infected. We're going to see if we can get some blocking on the go, some evades, and get some swings with this axe if we do aggro. So, for stealth to do with Infected, as long as you stay low, quiet, and at a good distance, a minimum of about 20 feet away, you should be good, even if they're facing you. Usually they won't spot you. Other side of a wall, you're usually pretty good. We might be able to go out into the road here. Right in front of him, and he shouldn't spy us. There we go, he's turned his back anyway. So we should be able to crawl quite far out here without him spotting us, because we're about 20 feet away. You, know, you can go closer, but you're risking it. If you're behind him, yeah, you can go pretty much right up to him and touch him on the shoulders so he won't notice you. But for the most part, you want to keep a good distance like this, sneaking around being aware of all your surroundings. Now, of course, Infected are due to change in the future, but we will do an update when that comes. I think uh, they're going to be more visual later on to do with the clothes you're wearing. But for now, it's pretty much the basics from uh, 6 and before that we've seen before. But uh, just a little update how it handles right now. I'll show you how close we can actually get. Right up behind him. Look, you don't even know we're there. In fact, can I stick my nose on his butt cheeks? I can't walk any further, so I am sniffing his crack right now. Now, it doesn't seem we've got many other infected around, so we're pretty safe at the moment. But if you do happen to aggro, which we're going to try to do now... There we go, straight away. We raise our weapon with right mouse button and press S, we will block. Notice we're not taking any damage in block. Our blood and health is not going down, in fact it's going up as we're blocking. We can evade and get a swing in. Oh, we did get a touch on us there. He got a little swipe. Now, dodging left and right does use stamina, so you want to be careful with that. Don't spam it. Just do a quick step and do a couple of swings. And then get back to blocking if you mess up. You can avoid taking damage. Now, there is knockback with Infected. If you have a couple on you, they can knock you about a bit, making it a lot harder to, to do this. But this is just giving you guys an idea. If you don't know that you can do this in 6-3... And it will be improved as time goes on. And of course, I will update you with any changes as Daisy moves forward in development. He just he just don't know what to do. <laughs> that double tap. Oh, there we go. There's that knockback. You get locked in that with a couple of infected. Ooh, you're in for a bad time. And that's that. That's pretty much how you handle an infected with melee. So you draw your melee weapon, right mouse to raise weapon, left click to swing while holding right mouse, hold S or backwards to block, Q to sidestep left, E to sidestep right. Easy. And if you combine it all together with some blocks, some sidesteps and a jab, you can get some nice combos going with a couple of players or infected. And here's a bonus melee tip. Did you know if you press and hold C to go prone, hold right click to raise your fists, roll onto your back, and then left click, you will kick. This is unexpected behavior for players giving chase. Spin around, drop to the ground, give them a kick to the ghoulies. Now, you could use a firearm if you have one to take out the infected, but it's not recommended. As we can see here, we begin to aggro. And, uh, okay, even more is coming. And I've got one round left, so that's not good. Now, that was pretty slow in regards to Daisy. Usually they're jumping on you in 6 3. And now my stamina's becoming a problem. So use that stamina you have to get into a building to safety. And then you want to reload your guns. So the basics of reloading a gun in safety, of course, as we do here, we drag our magazine into our hands. We can empty our magazine by holding left click with the magazine in hand if it has a few bullets left. There we go, we have an empty magazine. Let's get rid of that one. Let's put that magazine in there. Let's press 2 so the magazine goes into hand. As we can see, it's highlighted now in the action bar. Ammo is in 3. Let's press and hold 3. Now it's prompting us to left click to load magazine. Hold left click. 
ammunition then begins to be loaded into the magazine. Once the magazine is loaded, bring out our pistol, press and hold the hotkey for two, he will reload the magazine into the gun. This works the same for any gun. We can also just drag the magazine onto combine and the magazine is then entered. I will do advanced weaponry and tips later on, but for now, we're just dealing with some infected. Hope you guys enjoyed episode 2 of How to Survive Daisy 0.63 and beyond. I'm going to carry on trying to survive in Svetlo here. Of course, episode 3 will be on its way very soon. Hit that like button if you like the content I create. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you peeps next time. <laughs>